Hello and welcome to another episode of the 11th OVC, Examining Primary Resources. Today we're going to look at another excellent source for primary material in sheet music from the 1860s. Um, music has been around for, well, since the dawn of time, essentially, uh, and so you will have lots of excellent primary resources to look at. Um, sheet music was actually first really came about in about 1520 or so in London, um, and it really hasn't changed too much since then. Uh, but it is an excellent way to record musical notes, and you can play music from hundreds of years ago by looking at the exact same notes that were written down on that sheet music. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. We are looking at a piece from the, oh, let's see, uh, the Library of Congress. And today we're looking at an example of When Johnny Comes Marching Home Again. Many of you are familiar with this tune. And it was first published in 1863. Um, and this was uh, by Henry Tolman and Company out of Boston. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, that's what we came up with here. And um, the nice thing is, we actually have a recording of this. It was recorded a little later on, about 1898, and that was using a gramophone. And so we're going to share that gramophone recording. This is from the Library of Congress, by the way, and I hope you enjoy. When Johnny comes marching home, and sung by Mr. John Farrell. <laughs> Come marching home again, hurrah, hurrah. We give him a hearty welcome then, hurrah, hurrah. The men will cheer and the boys will shout, the ladies they will all turn out and we'll all feel gay when Johnny comes marching home. The old church bell was peal with joy, hurrah, hurrah. So welcome home, our darling boy, hurrah, hurrah. The village lads and lasses they with roses they will through the way and we'll all feel gay when Johnny comes marching home. Get ready for the jubilee, hurrah, hurrah! We meet the hero three times three, hurrah, hurrah! The laurel wreath is ready now to place upon his loyal brow and we'll all feel gay when Johnny comes marching home. Love and friendship on that day, hurrah, hurrah. Their choice of treasures and display, hurrah, hurrah. And let each one perform some God to fill with joy the warrior's heart, and we'll all feel gay when Johnny comes marching home. So that was a pretty nice recording of the original tune. It's nice and familiar. But the nice thing is, as time goes on, People can make new renditions of the same tune and add more into it, make it more complex uh, and in some cases more enjoyable. And so this is a, another example of a later progression of this. This was by, uh, arranged by Mitch Miller in the mid-1900s. In 1861, hurrah, hurrah, that was when the war begun, hurrah, hurrah. Marching home, and we'll all drink stone wine when Johnny comes marching home. Now, music is an excellent way to better connect with historic times. And in my opinion, in, in many cases, there's a closer connection to the emotions of the period because not only are you getting necessarily the written words of the song, but you're also getting these tunes. Uh, and the correct song can bring forth a lot of emotion um, from tough times, good times. I mean, there's a reason why we sit there listening to the radio or, or uh, our favorite tunes in our headset. And, you know, if it, it really connects with those emotions that you're going through at the time. And the exact same thing can be said with music from historic times. Um, if you would like to learn more about music from the 1860s or the uh, mid-18, or excuse me, 
the mid-19th century. Um, why don't you go on over and visit our friends at the Civil War Digital Digest. They have their History Tunes page there, and there's lots of excellent musicians who have uh, pr had their own versions of these historic tunes that we can really enjoy and hopefully have a better chance connecting with those historic times. Um, it's, it's definitely worth a visit there. Today we thought we would end on uh, a good note with a special tune that was performed by the 2nd Cavalry Brigade Band, our friends over there, and their rendition of The Girl I Left Behind Me. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> 